back on his feet. I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. You're complaining? No. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but... I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion. The band version. Remastered. No crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? It'd be the gold-dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. We thought the Remnant City was incredible, but Meridian is an order of magnitude past even that. Back in the Milky Way, did it feel like this when you were out looking for Prothean artifacts? Are you kidding? This is way better. I wouldn't have said it, but I'm glad you did. No offense to the Protheans. You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? Even in that scenario, a higher power could still exist. There could always be something greater. Greater than us. Greater than the Jardan. I had faith before, and I'll keep having faith. Because that's what faith is. Thank you, Ryder. You always know how to make me feel better. Anomaly detected. Now orbiting Gadara. Back again. Excellent.
All systems green. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. You are all booked for physicals. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. They left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we could fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. I think a charm offensive might be more... rewarding. Mm, yes. Classic irresistible hero. Pretend to be captured. Meet up armor, enticing scars, and soulful eyes. Yeah, yeah. The old dinner and drinks to show off my villainy. They get cold. And then strike! Or not. <laughs> Why spoil the evening? Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varen's jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait! Lesson! No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Don't make me dare you, dearest. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. Feel my gallbladder. Uh, do you even have a gallbladder? Oh no, it's worse than I thought. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> no! Damn you! Damn you all! Let's. Stick with the overacting Turian. I swear to love you. A thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax. So many years lost. We were so foolish. 
Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. <laughs>